Has there ever been a time when you were doing research on something and you might have gotten the highlights, but you're really looking for those meat and potatoes. You really want to know the detailed details about what it is they're talking about. Well, my goal today is to deliver to you five things you need to know before moving to Northwest Arkansas and not just give you the highlights. I want to give you the detailed details so you can decide, is this the right place for you? There's no doubt that Northwest Arkansas is growing and growing rapidly. For the last 20 to 25 years, it's been on top 10 lists of numerous different things. Fastest growing cities, fastest growing areas, great place to move in the Midwest, all of those types of things. But you need to know, well, what, what does that mean for me? Well, number one on our list is we're talking about construction. Everything is growing here in Northwest Arkansas. I'm not talking about just houses or buildings, I'm talking infrastructure, roads, electrical systems, amenities, what's growing and specifically what does that mean? Because Bentonville, Rogers, Springdale, and Fayetteville are all pretty well built up in the city limits, now granted they're still building inside the city limits, but cities like Pea Ridge, Centerton, Cave Springs, Elm Springs, Lincoln, Elkins, all of those types of cities are growing in regards to real estate lots of homes being built in those areas. Cities like Bentonville and Rogers are going to see a lot more higher density housing or construction of parking garages, widening of streets. Lots of new corporate buildings are being built, such as the home office of Walmart is getting a whole new rebuild. Some of the growing pains we experience in our area with so many people moving to the area, about 30 net people a day are moving to Northwest Arkansas, Benton and Washington counties. Some of the growing pains we see are we're seeing power lines above everywhere. So if you're driving along some of the major roads, you'll see these big power poles lining the streets. Yes, they're ugly, but it's one of the fastest ways to get electricity farther away from substations. Another thing that you're going to experience, road detours. As they're widening roads and expanding things to help with more infrastructure of people moving to the area, we're going to have more road construction. Going back to residential construction, if you're living in a new neighborhood, you might be in a neighborhood that's going to take three or four years to complete. So you'll hear people framing wood, you'll hear roofers putting on new roof, you'll hear concrete trucks driving by, but eventually the neighborhood will be completely built up and you won't hear those things anymore. Some of the major highway systems that are still being approved is the Northern 412 expansion going around Springdale. The west side of 49 will have an expansion as well as the east side of 49 on the north side of 412, helping traffic divert around Springdale. There will also be an expansion that helps traffic flow better to the airport as opposed to some of the two lane traffic that you see coming out of Bentonville and even Centerton. So all encompassing in regards to construction, yes, there's a lot of construction in here in the area, but Many people only think about residential, whereas we're growing in restaurants, car washes, storage units, schools, roads, houses, buildings, parking garage. And of course, we're also building more mountain biking trails, which brings us to number two on our list of things you need to know before moving here is mountain bikes are everywhere. So just imagine you're sitting on the city square in Benville and you see all these vehicles go by and they have trailer hitches and the entire back of the pickup truck is filled with mountain bikes. The reason why there's mountain bikes everywhere is because there's trail systems everywhere. There are trail systems in Bella Vista, Bentonville, Fayetteville, Siloam Springs, Rogers, Eureka Springs, even up into Neosho, Missouri and Joplin, Missouri. And something that I think is out in Ponca at Buffalo Outdoor Center, in the Buffalo National River is there some downhill trails there, but I think there's going to be more growth of mountain biking trails out east. With all of these different trail systems, we're going to bring a lot of events to our area. So there's one of the nationally acclaimed gravel bike trail events is called Big Sugar Gravel Fest. There's the Bentonville Bike Fest. And since 1995, the US National Mountain Biking Team was centered in Colorado. Just recently, it was announced that the US National Mountain Biking Team's headquarters is here in Bentonville, Arkansas. So a lot of people are coming this way. And again, mountain bikes are everywhere. People come here on spring break trips, weekend trips, summer vacation trips. And then of course you have all the locals that like to go mountain biking as well. So mountain bikes are everywhere. Not to mention mountain bikes, there's one wheels, road bikes, tri bikes, you name it. But mountain bikes are everywhere. And if there are mountain bikes everywhere, you have to be careful when you're driving, being alert and paying attention. 
watching out for people that are going a little bit slower than you are in your car, they're going a little bit slower on their mountain bike, their e-bike, what have you. Mountain biking trails being one of the best amenities about our area brings us to our next topic. Number three is you need to know about the amenities that are here and the ones that aren't here. One of the amenities that we have is there are concert places everywhere. You could go to the Erin Art Center in Bentonville, the Walton Art Center down in Fayetteville, Momentary Greens by the Momentary Museum. There's also the AMP, which is there in Rogers where we have mainstream concert series as people coming in like Dave Matthews Band and some major headlining country artists. We have lakes and parks galore, golf courses, what have you. Those are a lot of the other amenities that we have in the area. We do have a national airport, but let me dive in deeper about XNA Airport. XNA has 23 locations there. There are direct flights and you're like, wow, that's, that's actually a halfway decent amount. But hold on, what does it mean? Again, we're giving perspective. 30% of those locations, seven of them are in Florida. Six of them are west of Dallas. So if you're trying to go west of Dallas on a direct flight, there's only six locations that XNA goes to. Some of them are seasonal. That's right, five of the 23 locations that XNA flies directly are seasonal routes. I heard a story recently, actually some of my neighbors were coming back in from Dallas. You're flying in, you can literally see, you're looking down and you can literally see the lights of Bentonville down below you. And you hear the pilot come over the loudspeaker and say, I'm sorry, passengers. We have just realized that XNA is closed after a certain time. We have to turn back around and go back to Dallas. Okay, so XNA, 23 locations that they fly out directly, but they close at a certain time. So the benefit to the amenity is that it's small. You can probably get in. I live about 15 minutes from the airport. I could go there about 30 to 40 minutes before my flight and practically walk in to my gate. But when it comes to direct flight, if you're traveling to Seattle, there's no direct flight. If you're traveling to Wyoming, Montana, Nebraska, North or South Dakota, there are no direct flights. There's only one direct flight and it's seasonal to California. But there are more flights that are coming to the area as Northwest Arkansas continues to grow. There'll be more arrangements made. Other amenities like major league sports teams, we don't have those here. We do have the Arkansas Naturals, which you could cheer for, and I'm not going to discount the Razorbacks, but they're not a professional team. So if you're looking for Major League Baseball, football, what have you, and you're a Chiefs fan, Chiefs fan family here, you may not actually get to watch your team play on Sunday unless they're playing in the Super Bowl. I kid you not, there was one time we were watching a regular season Chiefs game. We came home from church, we're like, we'll turn on the Chiefs game. Come to find out, the Chiefs game was flexed out, and they were playing fishing on television. So thankfully there's a local sports bar, shout out to Beef O'Brady's. Our family went down there and we sat in the booth and we watched the Chiefs game just on the road from our house. Now I'm not one to go furniture shopping, but I understand yes, there are a few furniture stores here in Northwest Arkansas, some specialty, but for furniture or art, I hear a lot of my friends and of people, clients that are moving to the area are traveling up the road to Kansas City or even down south to Dallas to go to some of the major shopping areas that are there for clothes, furniture, art for their home. Looking for an Apple store? We don't have an Apple store here. You're gonna have to go down to Little Rock, go up to Kansas City or go over to Tulsa to find yourself an Apple store. As the area continues to grow, we're going to get more and more amenities. Right now our selections, we have some great ones, but could be slim and not what you're used to. Speaking about consumer goods, brings us to number four, taxes. I spoke about this in another video. If you click the link above, it's going to take you to a cost of living video that takes us into more detail about the cost of living here in Northwest Arkansas. But I wanna talk about taxes. We pay taxes on the things that we buy, on the money that we earn, and the items that we own. When you're buying an item here, let's talk about a $50 shirt in Bentonville. Arkansas has a 6.5% state tax, Benton County has a 1% tax, and Bentonville has a 2% tax. For those of you math nerds out there, that's 9.5% tax. If you're buying a $50 shirt, you're going to be paying close to $55. So you can almost automatically tack on about 10% when it comes to consumer goods here in Bentonville. Talking about the money that we earn, Arkansas is one of the states that has a graduated 
personal income tax. So depending on how much money you earn will determine your income tax bracket. Recently, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders just signed a over $1.4 million tax cut into law as of April 10th, 2023. Mm -hmm. What that tax law did is it lowered personal income tax from 4.9% down to 4.7, and it lowered corporate tax from 5.3 down to 5.1%. Governor Sanders is also calling for a phase out of state income tax, which I think might be pretty cool. That would be another reason for people to want to move to the area. And of course, we need to pay taxes on the things that we own. Talking about real estate tax on your property, you need to pay a 0.62%, which gets factored into the millage, and of course into your mortgage in an escrow account to pay your taxes every year. Arkansas is taxed at 0.62%, which is more than Colorado, less than California, less than Minnesota, and definitely a lot less than the folks that are paying out in New Jersey and New York. In Arkansas, you also are going to pay personal property tax on other things that you own, like your cars, RVs, side-by-sides, trailers, boats. Those types of items are also being assessed and taxed every year. So that has to be paid before May 31st of every year. Otherwise, you'll receive a penalty but still have to assess those items. Before we go into number five, if you are enjoying this and you're finding useful information, would you please hit that like and subscribe button so you're aware of every time I put out a video for you? I appreciate it. Okay, number five. I could have mentioned this before when we were talking about amenities, but so many clients that are moving here and people that I hear about moving to the area are so concerned about this one thing, and that is grocery shopping. Where do we get our natural food? Where do we get our organic foods? There's no Trader Joe's there. There's only one Whole Foods there. Where's the Costco? Well, my friends, sit tight, sit back, relax, hold on a second. We are in the land of Walmart. Walmart might not be your thing wherever you live now, but as you move here to Northwest Arkansas, we have Walmarts just about on every other corner. It's not the case. We also have what's called a neighborhood market. That's a Walmart that's specifically grocery for that area. So if they have done their demographics and they know that this specific area likes a lot of organics, they're gonna put more organics in that specific store. We also have Target, Aldi, we have a regional grocery chain called Harps. The Fresh Market and Cook's Natural Foods in Rogers is where you can get your natural foods and your organics a little more specialized, if you will. So no, there is no Trader Joe's and there is only one Whole Foods down in Fayetteville for the time being. On the horizon, development firm SJC Ventures, who owns the Whole Foods down in Fayetteville, is also developing one in Rogers by the corner of New Hope and Promenade Boulevard, right there where the Home Depot is located. There will be a Whole Foods in the future there as well. As you're moving to an area, there's going to be the amenities and things that you typically look for. They just might look a little bit differently than what you used to. And now you know a little bit more what life is like in and around Denville. Thanks for watching.